Let's go, yeah. Hello and welcome to VT Vibes TV, your only youth show for the Fijian youth. If you'd like to be a part of the show, please give us a call and let us know. I'm your host, Shannon Pramal. We're broadcasting from the unceded territories of the Kwatlin, Silvertooth, and Squamish nations. We're grateful for the first people of this land to let us share their sacred land and territories with non-Indigenous people. Happy Holy Month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a very holy month of Islamic religion who fast during the holiest month of their year. It started on March 22nd and goes for the whole month and ends in April around the same time. No show is complete without the support of our sponsors, so if you'd like to sponsor this show or have any other show that you'd like to sponsor that we bring to you on a weekly basis, please give us a call at the number in our ending credits. I understand how important it is to have a place called home, and it's frustrating using your hard-earned money on rent. Vic Prasad can make you a homeowner. Get pre-approved services provided to first-time buyers and new immigrants. You can qualify for mortgage even if you have bad credit. Call Vic Prasad now on 604-306-6647. Vic Prasad is associated with Craft Mortgages Canada Incorporated. For any kind of visa-related services, contact Milky Way Immigration, a galaxy of opportunities located at Unit 209-9547-152 Street, Surrey, BC. They have licensed immigration consultants, placement officers, and LMIA experts to meet your immigration and recruitment needs. Book one-time free consultation either on Facebook or by calling 604-396-0005. Bollywood Banquet Hall and Conference Center, located at Pile Business Center at 201-8166-128th Street in Surrey. No celebration is too small to accommodate you. They have newly renovated two halls to serve you, up to 1,000 guest capacity, top-notch chefs to delight you with delectable and heavenly cuisine. So just call Bollywood Banquet Hall at 604-598-2700 for your events. BNC Mobile Detailing Services, they offer commercial trucks, cars, SUV, boats, bikes, RVs, and much more. Just give them a call at 778-808-2859. Just give them a call at 778-808-2859 and they will do all kind of services at your home. Now we're in the studio to talk a little bit more about the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination with Shivangi Necker. So please have a look. If you'd like to be on the show as a guest, please let us know about what you want to be talking about. Hello and welcome back to VP Vibes TV. I'm your director and host, Shannon Fromo. And today I'm joined by none other than my lovely co-host, Shivangi Niker. So hello, Shivangi. Hello. Um, you can watch our episodes every week on Thursdays at 10 p.m. or Sundays at 4.30 p.m. on the Shell Multicultural channel. And be sure to like, subscribe, and um, comment on our YouTube channel as well. Um, you can watch all past episodes on VP Vibes. And follow us on social media at VP Vibes TV on Facebook and Instagram. That being said, today we're talking a little bit more about um, the uh, special observance that's coming up. So March 21st is actually uh, marked as the day of the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. So this day is celebrate not celebrated, but it's a day um, to observe um, racial injustice that's happened in the past. And so basically a little bit of backstory on how this day kind of came about. Um, on this day back in um, South Africa, this was actually the police in Sharpeville, South Africa, had ended up opening fire on, um, on a peaceful group of protesters, ended up killing 69 people and injuring 180 people at a peaceful demonstration protest that was against um, apartheid pass laws. Um, and it was just a peaceful demonstration. This happened back in 1960. So since this day, um, back in 1960, March 21st has been marked as an international day for the elimination of racial discrimination. And so basically um, what these laws were, they're essentially um, institutionalized segregation um, laws that were passed. And because of that, um, there was protests going on because there was a minority of um, white people um, or Caucasian people that were um, trying to segregate um, people in South Africa. But even though they were the minority, they had great powers and were trying to do all that. Um, but yeah, today we're talking a little bit more about racial injustice, racial discrimination. So disclaimer for that. Um, but yeah, so Shivangi, um, kind of want to just talk about um, this. So 
First, let's get down to like just basic um, de defining racial discrimination. Could you do that for us? So, like in, in my like what my understanding of racial discrimination is being um, looked at a certain way just because of how like your skin color is and like mm -hmm. how your facial features are different from what they say like the normal people mm -hmm. in a way. So like um, say like for us like we have like different facial features we have like different like skin colors based off like other people mm -hmm. then like they'll just look at us differently it's like a way it's like a different way of like judging someone based mm -hmm. off their appearance basically. yeah yeah basically essentially yeah that that's correct so racial discrimination and it's like most basic form um, the simplest way we could describe it is um, any type of discrimination against a person based on the fact uh, based on their skin color. Um, their race, their ethnic origin, and individuals can discriminate um, against race um, by refusing to do work with you or refusing to um, hire you for a job based off your race or um, just sharing resources to a certain group of people, right? Mm -hmm. So we see this all the time, but I want to ask you, like, do you think it still exists till this day? Oh, yeah. It does, honestly. I think that was an easy answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Honestly, <laughs> and I feel like we shouldn't just have, like, one day just to observe all this. Mm -hmm. It should be observed and, like, take action on, like, every day. Yeah. Because it happens every single day. Oh, yeah. Just making a national one-day holiday is not going to fix anything, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's, like, a holiday, but it's, like, an observance for sure. Yeah. Um, so that leads me to ask, um, in, tr in, like, your personal life, have you ever felt that you've been racially discriminated oh, yeah. against? In, the, in high school... I have in elementary. I have. Uh, it was because like um, I was really like chubby as a kid as well. So from that, I just looked more. I don't know. I just looked more different than like the other girls. In but in terms grade. of race, though. And then because um, it all like it was majority of like brown people in like my class too. Mm -hmm. So I was like the only like different looking one too. So everybody else, you know, were like light skin. I was like the only dark skin girl in mm -hmm. my class. So from that, it just led on to like. Um, me having less and less friends based off of how I looked and then when high school came about I just did my own thing and I mm -hmm. didn't really like interacting because I was so afraid that like oh people, some people are going to be like oh my god like why does she look like that she doesn't look like us mm -hmm. kind of thing yeah, yeah. I think th I've definitely felt the brunt end of it being like especially like this color of brown yeah. which now it's like okay yeah like accept it but like in the like high school is a brutal time yeah, right oh my god and people, so like kids just like say things like so it's out like, of pocket yeah, it's like damn yeah, especially in, like, modeling, too. Like, I know in a lot of situations, like, I found myself, like, being the only, like, this type of colored um, person in the room. And it's just like, okay, but why is there not a lot of people um, of the same race in the same room? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was always, like, the white white people that were in the room, right? It's not just, like, us. If you see, like, in, like, film, and just film industries as well, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's... There's a clear favoritism. Oh, yeah, it's really bad. Like... From Hollywood to Bollywood, even, mm -hmm. like, Tollywood sometimes, too. Yeah. But now, when they brought it up, they, they just, like, now they're trying to be inclusive. But mm -hmm. in reality, they're not, pretty mm -hmm. much. It's the same thing. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. So, what do you think, like, causes racism, though? Ego. Ego mentality. I feel like um, uh, different mindsets and, like, how, like, um, and, like, their traditional backgrounds mm -hmm. sometimes because from there it's just like oh my god they're so like um old school kind of mm -hmm. thing right so I feel like that does and then not being open-minded about like other mm -hmm. cultures mm -hmm. that's that's probably another reason why too. Mm -hmm. yeah so back to like the personal experiences and stuff like that do you do you remember like maybe a specific like time where you've realized like there are human differences with regard to race was have you ever been like do you remember like a situation where it's like oh like so this is what like is setting us apart like are my race is like the issue yeah um it was in I was in seventh grade and I had these like group of so-called friends okay and um not friends anymore no yeah so-called so friends and um they like they all made a circle and then they just like left me out of it. And then they were all just talking by themselves in the circle. And then when I went and then they just stopped talking. And then after one of them, one of them was actually really nice enough to actually tell me what they were talking about. They were talking about like how like I was too dark for that, too dark to be in their circle, like to be their friend. Wow. And like how, um, uh, what you call it? Yeah, <laughs> I was too dark to be their friend. And like how like my nose is too big and like 
my eyes are like weird kind of thing. They were just talking about like how I looked because like yeah, I would go to Jordi with like yeah basic hair when I went to school. So from there, I was like, okay. So if I look different, that's the whole reason why you guys don't want to be my friend because mm-hmm. everybody else in the group they look basically the same. Um, so it was just like okay, dang. and yeah. I'm sure a lot of people probably watching this could relate to like some sort of situation in their childhood as well because it's crazy that like even in some as young as like in seventh grade yeah. that you like experience that right oh, yeah. but even like I know back in like elementary school there's definitely been like times and like in high school I've definitely been called the n-word like all yeah, the yeah. time my, my last name people will it joke, was absurd like, yeah, it was they'll, they'll make fun of my last name on that and they'll just try saying the n-word with my last name right just like oh my god damn you shouldn't really be doing that yeah no like it's never okay to begin with but like yeah. Oh my gosh, like some people are just so ignorant. That's, that's why crazy. that's why I encourage if you are in high school, take social justice. You will be educated so much on that class. Oh yeah. Oh, no, yeah. social justice is such a like great class to be a part of. Like yeah, just yeah. learning about current events and like social injustices that happen in the world and what you could do. Oh yeah. Kind and of you thing. get really educated on like things that you've said in the past and you didn't know the meaning to. Right. And it's just like an eye opener, like wow. Like yeah, character <laughs> development. Oh yeah. That's what we aim for around here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's why like I think that's also important why we have this conversation as well um with regards to like racial discrimination and injustice like what can we do to better ourselves as a society as a person yeah. um at the very least um i know like obviously in the past like a lot of people could say like they maybe made mistakes and like racially discriminated like some people yeah. right um without even knowing sometimes but it's just a matter of like okay now just become more aware and more conscientious about like the things that you do say or do yeah. right to certain people because it could be taken a certain way yeah right um So what do you think are some of the, like, do you think defensiveness takes away from people of color, like their voices being heard? I, yes and no. I feel like it's, it's like a mixed, honestly, because it's like some people don't speak up to it when it happens to them Mm -hmm. because they feel ashamed and then like, they feel like, oh, no one's going to believe them kind Mm -hmm. of thing. And then, um... And I feel like other people just, like, are so vocal about it because they don't want mm-hmm. to be, like, whatchamacallit, um, they don't want to, they don't want, like, people, like, walking over them kind of thing. Mm, yeah. That's true, yeah. No, for sure. So, like, we're talking about this, and I know it's a very brief, like, overview of this whole situation, and we could talk about this for hours kind of thing, but some of the things that people could do at home, um, what do you think to be able to kind of get the conversation going? Um, I feel like trying to, like, if, if you're trying to talk to someone that doesn't have an open mind that you know that doesn't have an open mind, but you're trying to, like, you know, get the idea through your head, maybe, like, try to explain it in, like, terms how they would understand. Because sometimes when people, like, everybody has a different way of understanding things. Mm -hmm. So try to explaining it in, like, different ways to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, trying to be open about it. Yeah. Because, like, if you're not open, then, yeah. like, no one's going to really yeah, want to no, talk about it. For sure. No, and I know um, some key takeaways that I wanted to make sure to ha- add in is if you want to be a part of the solution, for sure, and um, definitely, like, in full honor of this day, um, International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, mm-hmm. it's to listen with empathy to others um, with an open mind, yeah. um, at least, Obviously, not everyone can see eye to eye all the time, but listening with an open mind does, it's it's the beginning point, right? And also standing as an ally to people who are racially just uh, marginalized. Um, If you see something, say something, you know what I mean? Um, If that's in your power and if you're comfortable with that, like definitely you should be doing that. Um, And as well, like showing up to events and supporting um, things that are going on in in, um, commemoration of um, this um, special observance of a day um and one event that's actually happening here locally it's um for the international day for the elimination of racial discrimination it's being held on march 21st which is a tuesday this year um and it's um going to be hosted at surrey central library that's from 5 to 7 30 p.m and asian pulse and uh, ellie matheson one voice canada and shakti society are all proud sponsors and hosts of this event so you could be it's totally free um so people can go to surrey central library at 5 to 7 30 p.m it's a free event you can rsvp by reaching out to camilla singh at 604 537 
5123 and be sure to be there. Um, there will be lots of uh, human rights activists um, speaking um, on the topic as well. And um, creating a world beyond um, systemic barriers is the whole goal of this. And so definitely be sure to be there um, to show your support for the cause. And with that being said, um, do you have any last words? Um, I guess like just stay safe and um, just make sure you're happy. Yeah. All right. Thank you all for joining us today. Um, take care until we see you next time. Hey everyone, this is Shannon from Go Vibes TV, your director and host. You can watch new episodes every Thursday at 10 p.m. or Sunday at 4.30 p.m. only on the Shaw Mountain Cultural Channel. We're here day two at the Rugby Sevens Canada Sevens. And we're having a great time. I'm doing my birthday and Tasha, our lovely host. And we're here to talk to a lot of people that are going to be here. So attend me and some players. So stay tuned for that. And with that being said, enjoy our journey here today. Today I have... Ashita Gounder. Nice. So Ashita, I have a question for you. Are you ready to answer them? Sure. So, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. Nice. What school do you go to? I go to David Rankin Elementary. Nice. nice. So, is this your first year here? Yes. Do you like it? Yes. What's your favorite thing about this weekend so far? Coming here. Coming here, really? So, obviously. What team do you support? Fiji. Fiji. Fiji, nice. Fiji. So, do you have a favorite player in mind? Yeah, um, Jerry Tuai. Jerry Tuai. I think that's a fan favorite for all of the Fijians. So, do you think Fiji can win it all this year? I'm hoping they can win today. If they win today, do you think they have it in them to win tomorrow as well? Yes. Yes. You know, do you think Fiji really has it? Like, they've come here every single year and sadly they've not won. But do you think this year is the year? Yes. Because I'm here. <laughs> Hopefully, if she does, good luck comes in and Fiji wins at all. Hey everybody, we're back with more guest interviews. Here I am joined by... Abdullah. Rohil and Zach. So you guys are here at the Rugby Sevens here at the Canada Sevens. This is day three. Um, could you tell the viewers what has kind of happened throughout the day, what the updates are with the games? Um, so Fiji just played against Canada for fourth place. Fijiana actually. Fijiana. Fijiana. Yep. Fijiana and uh, they took the dub. Good game. Good play. They played really hard. And uh, we're, we're happy that they placed fourth place. You know, um, they played really well. They gave it their all, and there's nothing more we could ask for. Yeah. yeah. How do you guys feel about the men's team? Because right now the men, we... The men's team did really well. We were all in shock in that last game. Yeah. It came through last minute, but over time, it is what it is, right? Zach, how do you feel about the game so far? Obviously, the games are really good. Um, yeah, unfortunate, well, the, the guy's losing, right? But uh, it's good for the girls. And, but overall, it was a good event. Yeah. All the good games. Yeah. So. Nice. So now we're here just to support yeah. the women now, right? Yeah. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Correct. correct, correct. All right. How do you guys, is this your guys' first time here? Have you guys been here before? How? Uh, we've been coming like every year since it started. Yeah. Every year, every year. Every year. Never miss a year. You're going to see me next year. Yeah. And of course, I, I'll just ask this, even though I know it's kind of obvious. Which team are you guys supporting? Fiji, baby. Fiji. Let's go, Fiji. All right. All right, I'm going to leave this at, with this last question. For the viewers at home, we have a youth audience watching. What is your guys' like, piece of advice for the younger generation watching this? Hey, man, just keep watching rugby. <laughs> it's a fun sport. Once you get to understand it, you, get, you make friends. You, uh, like, uh, you can ha have more fun, you know? All right. Spend some time with your family. This place is all about spending time with friends and family. This is how you get closer, this is how you make some memories. You run into everyone here, everyone. No matter if you know them, you don't know them, you make friends either way. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. And we'll be right back Oso after this. Vititoso! Oso vititoso! Hey guys, it's Prene. Back with uh, Savon. So Savon, I have a couple questions for you. Ready to answer them? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so what team are you supporting today? Uh, Fiji. <laughs> if it wasn't for Fiji, what other team would there be? Uh, definitely Canada. Definitely Canada? Yeah. Do you have a third by any chance? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I would probably have to go with the All Blacks, New Zealand. I feel like that's a common thing for Fijians. Yeah. It's either Fiji, Canada, or New Zealand. We gotta support our neighboring countries. Of course. <laughs> exactly. So, I got another question. Next year, Canada might not host 
Are you happy, sad? What do you feel? Um, it's definitely, it's definitely a bittersweet moment. Um, just because obviously we won't be able to have the luxury of, you know, having it hosted in our city. But at the same time, it's also an opportunity for us to maybe get to travel, experience other parts of the world, you know, such as like LA, Hong Kong, London, Cape Town, you name it. Um, so it's definitely bittersweet, but I mean, always an opportunity to, you know, explore other parts of the world. Definitely. That is one thing that I haven't heard anyone else say. They, I, I love to go travel all these different places. It would be amazing. Yeah. I mean, we have that luxury of it being here at home and it's amazing. But traveling, getting to know all these different countries and figuring out how their fan base is too. It's going to be amazing to see. Yeah. So thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Hey everyone, this is Shannon, your director and host for VT Vibes TV. Catch our new episodes every Thursday at 10 p.m. or Sundays at 4.30 p.m. Today I'm joined by none other than Zinat. So Zina, how are you feeling today? Honestly, very excited that Fiji Women's won, so yeah. that's very exciting. Mind you, this is day three and we have seen some matches for the Fiji men's. They have lost, unfortunately. unfortunately. How do you feel about that? They could have better, but also the ref is coach. The ref is ideal. You know what? And at the end of the day, we take some dubs, we exactly. take some losses, right? It's all give or take. Exactly. Um, yes, yep. Always representing, right? Um, so, have you been here the whole three days? This is your first time here? I came actually Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Is this your first time here at Rugby Sevens at all? Or? No, I've been here a couple of times. Okay, so this is actually my first time. So, what would you recommend that I have to go do right now? Walk around in circles and dance. Yep. Um, so, I know you and your friends have been here. Who, did you come with the whole group? Or how many people do you usually come with? Usually a group of 10. Group of 10? Yeah. Nice. All right. Um, can you tell the viewers a little bit more about yourself? So, I am Zina Khan. I am 19 years old and I am proud to be Fijian. And other than rugby, do you, do you usually watch rugby? Have you play, do you play any other sports or anything like that? I actually played rugby in grade 12. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. Well, it was nice meeting you and here's the team right here. <laughs> Do you guys want to introduce yourselves here to the camera? Since you guys are here. I'm Alicia. Just a fun fact. Miss Fiji Canada. VT Vibe. We love everything for the Fiji community in Canada. Is this your first time here at the Rugby Sevens? Or it's is it? my second time. Pre-COVID I went. But now this is my first time after COVID. Nice. So. Do you see like a big difference between the pre-COVID, post-COVID like rugby games? or? I mean, to be honest, I feel like the vibe is a little more subtle. Not much mm -hmm. of a Fijian community here. Yep. But I feel like slowly as the years go by, I mean, it's just yeah. 2023. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, honestly. Yeah, crazy. And COVID is slowly, you know, coming back to normal. So yeah. I feel like eventually... Finally, that light at the end of the tunnel, right? Exactly. Eventually, we're going to get where we were in the beginning of how it was yep, for, for Rugby sure. Sevens. Yep. But it's still a vibe yeah. at the, the day. I have one question for you. Yes. What does rugby mean to you? Oh, As a Fijian, what does it mean to you? Good question. I mean, honestly, ever since Fiji won the Olympics, yep. I think we're finally bringing out the culture. Out For here sure. in Canada, especially. Fiji repping. And I see you have your team here. If you want to say hi to the camera one more time. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. hey guys, it's Brandon from Fiji Vibes, and today I'm with... Brendan. So, Brendan, what's your favorite part about the weekend so far? Honestly, the weekend so far is so much energy. You go down to, like, the general admission. There's a bunch of Fijian people. It's just a vibe, to be honest. And it's crazy how there's so many people dressed up, even look behind us. Everyone's in their festive form. Which yeah. is actually amazing. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, another question. What yeah. team are you supporting? Obviously, Fiji, Fiji right here. If it wasn't Fiji, who would be next? Honestly, if I didn't support Fiji, my dad, he's an All Blacks fan. So, I'd be wearing an All Blacks jersey. Definitely a really good choice. So, if New Zealand ends up winning, how happy would you be? Honestly, I'd be pretty happy. My dad's a New Zealand fan. I mean, obviously, if Fiji wasn't a choice, I'd choose New Zealand. I mean, I have an All Blacks jersey sitting at home, but I chose to wear the Fiji jersey today just because why not? Representing all the Fijians. Of course. All right. Thank you very much, Brendan. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, guys. It's printing it back again. What is Ryan Sharma. It should be probably. Perfect. So, for question for both of you. What team are you supporting today? I'm supporting Fiji today. I'm supporting Fiji and Canada. Nice. If it wasn't Fiji, who would you support, Ryan? Canada. Canada. Nice. That's actually a really good choice. So, what's your favorite thing about the weekend so far? Uh, probably this. It's been like really, really fun for me. Nice. Yeah. What's been so fun for you? <laughs> Everyone here, you know, it's like energetic. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely. How about you? 
This has been the vibes, you know, everyone here, Fiji fans, out here just supporting, uh, what is it, the team, and then the team's like, do, not doing bad, the Fiji and the team won fifth place, so which is a good thing, you know? Yo, another question, would you guys be sad if Canada doesn't end up hosting next year? Yeah, I would. Obviously because of the atmosphere, right? Yeah. How about you? Yeah, obviously because Vancouver has such a big, uh, what is it, fan base for uh, Fiji, exactly. and if it's not here in Vancouver, where is else going to be? That is true. We've got the number one fans for Fiji and Canada here. And tons of other countries too. There's no shortage. Thank you. And I hope you enjoyed that. We have some announcements that you may be interested in participating in. So have your pens and paper ready. The Canadian Federation of Fiji Organizations is hosting their first ever youth business conference event on April 2nd, 2023 from 1230 p.m. to 4 p.m. This is held at the City Centre Library in Surrey. It is an all-free event for all high school students and post-secondary students to receive mentorship from local businesses and professionals. Free lunches and refreshments will be provided and there will also be drop prizes for attending. Registrations are all done online and the link to the Google form can be received by emailing info.cfofo at gmail.com. For any other questions about registrations, you can feel free to reach out by calling 778-709-2853. We ran out of time for today, but I hope you enjoy our show as much as I did bringing it to you. If you missed our show today, you can always watch it again on Sunday at 4.30 p.m. in BC and 5.30 p.m. in Alberta. No show is complete without the support of our sponsors, so if you'd like to sponsor this show, you can reach out to our producer Camilla Singh at 604-537-5123. Also, don't forget to watch Fiji in Focus on Tuesdays at 10 p.m., Thursdays at 2.30 p.m., and Sundays at 4 p.m. Asian Pulse TV on Wednesdays at 2.30 p.m., Thursdays at 8.30 p.m., and Saturdays at 5.30 p.m., as well as the Camilla Singh Talk Show on Mondays at 10 a.m. and repeats on Sunday at 5.30 p.m. All our shows are uploaded onto YouTube, so please be sure to like and share. Before I leave, I'll leave you here with these thoughts. A frog decided to reach the top of the tree. All frogs shouted, it's po impossible, it's impossible. Still, the frog reaches to the top. How? Because he was deaf and he thought everyone was encouraging him to reach the top. Be deaf to negative thoughts. If your aim is to reach your goal, and that author is an unknown. With that, have a wonderful day and we'll see you all next time. I'm your host, Shannon Pramal, signing off. Don't your fingers, then you lean back. Mile down the street, going to dig that, now we clean that. Ain't fat, don't shut your fingers.